1930s, times were arduous as the nation was experiencing the Great Depression and Mother Nature swept the landscape of its topsoil by affecting over 100 million acres. The Dust Bowl, which was a man-made and natural disaster, eroded and parched the land throughout this area. Motivated by land developers and high wheat prices, farming families jumped on their tractors to plow through acres of soil more efficiently and quickly to make money. However, because of the drought and the lack of soil conservation, the unanchored soil turned to dust that burgeoned into massive dust storms. These dust storms were called black lizards or black rollers. One particular storm was two miles high and traveled 2,000 miles before pummeling the east coast. The dust settled over Washington, D.C. and blotted out the midday sun Hugh Hammond Bennett, known as the father of soil conservation, declared, this gentleman is what I have been talking about. As dust littered the Capitol building, Congress passed the Soil Conservation Act of 1936. Besides contending with the Dust Bowl, the families that lived throughout the Great Plains also had to deal with a plague of jackrabbits and grasshoppers of purported biblical proportions that prompted President Franklin D. Roosevelt's remark, what the sun left, the grasshoppers took. Many, but not all of the Dust Bowl's victims resided in Oklahoma. To escape their plight, the Okies, a pejorative term, headed to the West Coast to escape the dust and doom of the Great Plains. 2.5 million refugees fled the Great Plains because of the Dust Bowl. According to Pamela Riney Keharberg, director of Iowa State University's Agriculture, History, and Rural Studies, the Dust Bowl was the worst sustained environmental crisis throughout the history of the United States. The Dust Bowl was a metaphor for the Great Depression. Both left families poverty-stricken in a sea of blackness with no hope to quench the land or the poverty that families had to endure. <laughs>